అందరికి అందరికి నమస్కారములు నమో నమ సర్వేభ్యో నమస్కార టుడే ఈజ్ ఏ గుడ్ డే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు హ్యావ్ ఏ లెక్చర్ ఫ్రమ్ నన్ అదర్ దాన్ అవర్ వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ వేద సంస్కృతి సమితి అండ్ ఈజ్ డీలింగ్ విత్ ఆయుర్వేద అండ్ రిలేటెడ్ మేటర్స్ I will introduce him uh, briefly, very briefly, because he is available only for one hour for us today. And then hand over the platform to him. Before that, I will, uh, uh, we will have, uh, we will recite from Monday Mataram to show our respect to our country and then Prarthana. Let us request C.C. Babu Garu to recite Vande Mataram, please. Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Sujalam Sufalam Malaya Jasitala సమలాతరం వందే మాతరం శుభ్రజ్యోష్ణాపులకితీ పుల్లకుసుమిత్రుమదళశోభి సుహాసి సుమధురభాషి సుఖదాం వరదాం మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే ధన్యవాదములండి చల్లా చిరిబాబు గారు నా లెట్ ఇస్ రిక్వెస్ట్ రాజలక్ష్మి గారు టు చాన్ ప్రార్థన ప్లీజ్ శ్రీ గురు భ్యో నమ వన్ మినిట్ మెడిటేషన్ గణపతి గిం హవామహే కవిం కవీనాముపమస్రవస్తమం జ్యేష్ఠరాజం బ్రహ్మణ బ్రహ్మణస్పత ఆన శృణ్వన్నోతి సీద సాధనం ఓం శ్రీ మహాగణాధిపతే నమ ఓం ప్రణోదేవి సరస్వతీ వాజేభిర్వాజినీవతి ీనామవిత్రవదు ఓం శ్రీ మహాసరస్వత్యై నమ గురువ గతి గురుమేవ భజే గురునైవ సహాస్మి నమో గురవే న గురో పరమం శిశురస్మి గురో మతిరస్తి గురో మమ పాహి గురో జ్ఞానందమయం దేవం నిర్మలస్ఫటికాకృతి ఆధారం సర్వ విద్యానాం హయగ్రీవముపాస్మహే శృతిస్మృతిపురాణం ఆలయం కరుణాలయం నమామి భగవత్పాదశంకరం లోకశంస్కరం 
ಶಂಕರಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತ ಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮಾತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಪಿತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಅತಿಥಿ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಮಲಂಡಿ ರಾಜಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಗಾರು ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಇಸ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ಲಿ ಐ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಅವರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ವೇದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಸಮಿತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯೂತ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟಾಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಫಿಸಿಷಿಯನ್ ಆಥರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋಟಿವೇಶನಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಆಯುರ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಿ ಹೈಲೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂರೋಕ್ರಾಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ವೈ ಪೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಓವರ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ over 3000 uh, plus television and radio talks and uh, written over 250 plus health related articles in print media delivered 500 uh, greater than 500 guest lectures in india and abroad organized and treated patients in over 300 medical camps medical advisor to key pharma companies and key strategist expert and in brand uh, building activities worked as an associate professor for reputed reputed ayurveda colleges and have excellence in formulating new molecule for ayur pharma expert in promoting functional foods and homo remedies and he will be uh, so so many thing is a long profile if i take it the complete one hour is meant for this only goes in this only so i'll brief i'll uh, make it brief and then and i'll request him to take over and then deliver his lecture please can i start ha ah, please start sir ನಮಿ ಧನ್ವಂತರಿ ಹಾದಿದೇವ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ಪಾದ ಪದ್ಮ ಲೋಕೆ ಜರಾರ್ಭಯ ಮೃತ್ಯುನಾಶ ದಾತಾರಮೀಶಂ ವಿವಿಧೌಷಧೀನ ಧನ್ವಂತರಿ ರಮಾನಾಥರ್ವರೋಗ ನಿವಾರಕ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಪ್ರವಕ್ತ ವಂದೇ ಪೀಯೂಷದಾಯಕ ಸರ್ವೇ ಜನ ಸುಖಿನೋಂತು ಸರ್ವೇ ಸಂತು ನಿರಾಮಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆನರ್ privilege and pride and all the more a responsibility to be with uh, Veda Vijnana Samiti as ever, forever. Because the moment I came to know about Veda Vijnana Samiti, I just thought once in a blue moon we are going to meet and uh, some regular proceedings and meetings will go on and uh, agendas will be fixed. <laughs> But with the persistency, 
and consistently what they are trying to conserve, preserve and promote dharma. It is highly commendable and uh, appreciable. So uh, all the seniors and the stalwarts in uh, Veda Vignana Samhiti should never think that uh, uh, you know they are giving me uh, uh, opportunity. They, they have all the right and liberty to direct me to have lectures periodically and whatever the best that I can for the community, I will. This is the assurance and the promise and the commitment that I have made myself as long as my blood is red and my last breath because it has always been said dharma rakshati rakshita if we conserve, preserve, promote dharma that as a reward will shall try to protect prevent us from entering to bad things being righteous, being healthy to the rest part of our life not just to ourselves but to our family as well what is dharma? The moment, you know, it starts from a very basic level. Karagre Vasate Lakshmi, Karamadhyay Saraswati is what we know, what we chant, very good morning that we say, is a Shubhodaya. So, Karagre Vasate Lakshmi, at the age of one year, we start training and teaching the student, rather preaching the student or inculcating these basic shlokas, wherein which that one year old baby will only be able to hear two years, it will, be, it will be able to spell out in a very wrong way. <clears throat> Further on, it will be learning, learning, chanting, chanting without even knowing the meaning. There are not many people who are pseudo-scientific, point to be underlined, pseudo-scientific, pseudo-modernized, pseudo-indic, who say, this is only a shloka. What is the relevance of that particular shloka and day to day? So, saying good morning in a very nice way, and uh, starting the day is an excellent phenomenon and why this shloka and all. Why I am tell the, telling this example as a preamble uh, for my speech today is that, you know, the dharma, the samskruta, the samskruti, ayurveda and the, all these things in relation to health is interconnected and interlocked for a very long way in a very beautiful perspective. Kara agre vasate lakshmi. No? Kara madhye saraswati. Karam Ule Sthite Devi. Prabhate Karadarshanam is the beautiful concept what we make to ourselves. What is the social impact of learning this shloka? Keeping dharma aside. Of course, we are all dharmic. We have to promote dharma. That is our bound duty responsibility. But the caption of the organization as to what it is propounding of late is Veda Vignana Samiti. Right? The Samiti is we all put together forming a Samiti. Vignana is science. Veda is something different. When tradition, that is Veda, Vignana, that is science, is being blended, something like milk and honey, which is going to be as tasty as a nectar. If at all, if we know the value of a nectar, we can enjoy it in a right way. Karagre Vasate Lakshmi. If you have to sign a check, put a password to your ATM card, take Make your phone pay or Google pay. Kar Agre is the point of sending and receiving money, which the Tharma thought in a form of Subhashita at a very micro minute age of one year when the child never knew what Sanskrit is, what the language is, what the phonation is, what the pronunciation is, what the Dharma is. This is the way the Dharma was being inculcated by our seniors, generations together. Acharya Mukena, Guru Mukena, Mata Pitru Mukena, Karamadhyay Saraswati. However smart, however the technology goes on, if you have to sign, if you have to acquire some knowledge, if you have to write a question paper, a beautiful answer attaining 100 marks, the Saraswati has to be here because you are holding the pen in the center of the hand. You tell me any shloka, you tell me any shloka, I may not know the relevance and an anecdote for all shlokas, but I'm pretty sure to get you people to give you a scientific footing, to give you a modernized approach for all the shlokas, Shubhashita, Arthat, Shobhanam, Bhashitam, Shubhashitam. Very beautifully acceptable phonetically, very beautifully acceptable for the years, very everlasting, permanent decisions in the form of small Anushtub Chandas, for example, to say. Small quotations, small notes, which 
we say for a very long time very long time knowingly or unknowingly you are entering into the process of conserving preserving and promoting dharma how is this possible how can a dharma be conserved and prevented why should we do a dharma is 5000 years old so it will continue what is the role of mind even without me dharma was there even after my death dharma might be there ha huh. the point is here might be there with the social changes what you are doing what you are seeing what you are experiencing people don't know the values and morals of the past in kannada there was a notion that sala maadi adru tuppa tinni means even if your financial condition is not good please eat ghee eat well think better be healthy be nutritious and be efficacious today as i am pertaining my talk more towards ayurveda and dharma ayurveda and veda because ayurveda is in subdivision of atharva veda uh, ghee consumption so maybe of uh, 5 ml of ghee from zero age to an age of 100 years will not give you dyslipidemia arthat hypercholesteremia or any other liver related problems there is no proof for that at all further adding on to my words there is not even a single death documented in the world with a death sentence from the medical profession by saying this this person died because of dyslipidemia triglycerides may be more hdl may be less ldl may be more multiple combinations and permutations that we foresee ghee is only one thing which can absorb any other foods in a very excellent beautiful fast non complicative way we have pan bidas today i would request for all the seniors to have an exclusive session early in the morning at the same time at your convenience either for this batch or next batch at your convenience to say the impact of why traditional dharmic food will give relevance to healthy mind body and soul such a beautiful concept it is which is a very long discussion and i would need one and a half hours to express my thoughts and it should be open for debates because as a student of ayurveda for the past 26 years that i am into ayurveda i would also want to learn more of vedic and dharmic inputs to whatever the clinical research that i am doing towards the food habits and traditional health uh, by having why chitravati has to be done why ekadashi has to be done what is the importance and impact of eating early morning for dwadashi uh shivaratri why we should fast and things like that and uh, keeping all this micro minute things into perspectives if you follow dharma what is dharma is it only doing sandhya vandanam in the morning is it only saying good morning shubodayam jai shri ram all such things this is a part of culture where in which knowingly or unknowingly you try to imbibe inculcate influence some positive thoughts to a commoner who is not at all aware of doing anything when i started my television shows 24 years back the first word knowingly or unknowingly what i uttered was namaskaram idi mana samskaram people used to make mockery out of me by saying that you know it is only a punch line to attract people the moment i say such you know punch words namaskaram samskaram people will be more cautious and more eagerly listening and the show rating will be going on this was the blame that i had got 24 years back but in reality when covid came giving hands hugging people smooching this was not a part of culture we adopted it we accepted it by calling us ourselves as being more modernized more scientific more advanced more urbanized more rich and multiple things like that see namaskaram nam samskaram manaskar namaskaram mana samskaram such a simple thought i do like this suppose i have a viral infection viral cold viral fever cough i sneeze my mouth or my nose i put my uh, hand to my mouth but i scratch my eyes i dig my ears multiple things might have happened in a common day with or without our knowledge we will be doing these things the moment a new person comes very strongly we shake hands we are transferring all our microorganisms which is not wanted to him not wanted to me as well free of cost it's as good as putting my pen drive to your laptop without scanning all the virus will come 
vital information resource under seas is that virus covid to multiple virus is this virus what is happening which is going to engulf one simple fever today one simple dengue which is rampantly more in all metropolitan cities because of static stagnant waters we are very much concerned about cleanliness from within not at all cleanliness outside when it comes to physical entities we are not at all concerned about cleanliness from within the body when compared to the cleanliness outside we try to see outside cleanliness but we are not cleansing our sattva atma and manas simple yogic practice yogena chittasya padena vacha malam sharirasya cha vaidyakena yopakarottam pravaram muninam patanjali pranjali ranatos ayamo vividhangana vyayama iti prakirtitha such a beautiful anecdotes lakhs and lakhs of shubhashitas lakhs and lakhs of such small one line and two line quotations if you can start learning again i repeat ayamo vividhangana vyayama iti prakirtitha what is vyayama we have seen multiple people going for power exercises zumba lot of running 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 for kilometers together keeping assuming to be fit and fine fastings doing gyms rigorously doing cardiovascular exercises n number of people have died in their mid 30s and 40s i can give the list of 10 to 15 celebrities huge film stars off the record with lot of evidences because the body is not fit for running only four legged animals a deer a cheetah these animals should run we are all the vertebral people with two legs balancing the whole weight on two legs we are supposed to walk brisk walk is one of the best exercises what we can do i appreciated the great lady who started with dhyana why dhyana is to be done any significance in telling om shanti 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 in the morning सर्वे जना सुखि सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कचि दुख भाग भवि दि श्लोक द संस्कृत उक्ति कीपिंग एव्री वन इंटू हापीन टेकिंग एव्री वन इंटू कॉन्फिडेन्स हाविंग ए मार्क ऑफ सोशियल सेक्यूरीटी अज्यूमिंग प्रिज्यूमिंग पुटिंग ऑल द एफर्ट्स टू कीप दट ऑल पीपल सरउंडिंग हेज टू बी हेल्थी ऑल दीज एफर्ट्स shanti is bliss shanti is happiness shanti is contentment shanti is fulfillment have you ever the younger generation me means the younger generation of 2022 today who have just the verge of completion of their education who are eagerly started working as a part of professionals and contributing to the mainstream most of us i'm pretty sure if i'm wrong you're free to correct me they are not into the dharmic fold especially in the modernized metropolitan cities by saying that you know they work in the nights morning they have no time they have no time to eat no time to take bath today we are in an unfortunate situation wherein which an ambulance is reaching the house faster i am sorry uh, pizza is reaching the house more faster than what an ambulance can reach this is the point of concern this is the point of debate for the sake of 4 seconds of happiness we are trying to compromise 40 years of health a uh, gobi manchuri a french fries a samosa a cutlet a pani puri for example all this you know i have no hesitation to share most of us in the metropolitan lives today are engulfed into such eating habits i am sure this happens in every metropolitan city starting from delhi to hyderabad to bangalore saturdays and sundays you don't see the conventional kitchens in the house working at all thanks to the social apps where much before a click of a button you have the ready made food right in front of the house a lot of ajinomotos chinese salts monosodium glucomates which is making the food addictive the small children are into eating of french fries chips every day as a part of brunch and we have a long notion so calories sir so 
some stimulants we want. So calories, so we don't eat this ghee and all in the food, you see. Eating ghee will give us a lot of cholesterol, so we don't eat ghee. But what about popcorn? Yeah, yeah, popcorn is very light, you know, seeing movie, a bucket of popcorn is okay. 500 rupees for a movie, 1000 rupees for a popcorn is okay. Uh, any cola drink, dark colored cola drink, yeah, 200, 300 rupees a bottle. Oh, that is okay, sir, that is okay. Uh, what about your, uh, this is the questions usually I put forth in my clinical practice in the same chair as to where I am sitting and uh, to the people who are in front of me. What about alcohol? No, sir, I don't drink alcohol. But, you uh, know, as a part of peer pressure and uh, getting myself socialized, uh, I have only beer uh, once or twice a week. Okay, what about non-veg? No, 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 I don't eat non-veg. But, you know, weekends, if I'm outside, the two boneless, the two with my secluded friends, sir, uh, though I am not genetically vegeta non-vegetarian, only for the sake of my friends' peer pressure and parties and happenings of good things, celebrations, sir, uh, weekends, the two boneless, the two outside, not inside the house. These are all the excuses, the food pattern, what is being practiced today. The people are coming into such food. One simple gobi manchuri. I'm pretty sure most of you are aware, 99% of us have consumed a simple gobi manchuri or a, a sweet corn manchuri or whatever. All this uh, colored and junk foods, example to say. As a part of uh, being with the mainstream media in Karnataka, we have seen red oxide, simple red oxide color, which is being used for the floor, which is highly chemicalized, highly carcinogenic. Arthat, cancer causing chemical being added to simple Gobi Manchuri to make it more bright, more lustrous, more attractive. So, and unfortunately, that has been marketed well. Unfortunately, the younger generation are being engulfed by the advertisement uh, agencies which give you beautiful presenting of such things. Unfortunately, the oil is sold for 105 rupees, 90 rupees per liter, whereas one groundnut is 100 rupees a kilo. Four to five kilos of groundnut will yield one kilo of groundnut oil. So, one kilo of groundnut oil should be roughly around 460 to 500 rupees in a wholesale. But we are getting groundnut oil, so-called groundnut oil, for around 105 rupees at a retail level. Wholesale level, it is around 65 rupees in Bangalore. I don't know the price elsewhere. So what can you get at 65 rupees? Oh, 500 rupees can I afford, sir? 65 rupees, I can take 10 liters and, you know, bindas, I can use it in the house. I can make papads, I can make apalalo, I can make wadialo, I can make miripkai fry every day and eat. What are you eating? A white, a white oil, which is a petrochemical derivative, which is going to make your life shorter by roughly around 10 years. What is our lifestyle today? Smoking. Sir, I don't smoke regularly, sir. My, you know, my parents are very strict. We are a very dharmic family, you see. So, so when do you smoke? Sir, I smoke only in the office. How many? Sir, very few, sir. My friend smokes 20 cigarettes, so I am only into 5 or 6. One cigarette a day, dear friends, one cigarette a day will reduce roughly around 20 days of your quality life. 20 days of your quality life is going to be given to you in a very reduced way. That is, if your span of life is 100 years, one cigarette, 20 days has been reduced. And I'm pretty sure we have an active age of 55 to 60 as per the latest statistics. If anyone is absolutely healthy at 60 years, having no hypertension, no BP, no stress, no thyroid, no obesity, eating for himself, walking for himself, able to climb three or four stories of the building without using a lift, can starve one foot a day, can be missed by him. He will do a, a upavasam. Again, starvation is a very wrong word. What is upavasam? Upa vasati iti upavasam. How many people will know about this? What is fasting? These are the things, you know, today I am in a situation where in which I want to throw questions so that we will have a huge debate and any corrections I am also open to get myself corrected. We don't know the logics of life which is very unfortunate. This should be a rekindling phenomenon wherein which we stimulate our 
thought process every day with one micro minute question why upavasam we don't know sir my father is doing my grandfather forced us to do my mother doesn't cook an ekadasi sir so unfortunately invariably i mean upavasam sir okay accepted uh, assuming them to be wrong not feeding you is it okay for you to leave food for one whole day yeah, yeah sir i do leave food i don't eat in the house but you know outside i am very cautious sir i'll have two bananas one apple and uh, one or two glasses of milk in the morning because i don't eat anything in the house now, so i need some nourishment okay what about afternoon sir afternoon also i don't eat this rice rasam sambar biryanis and things like that i am very cautious sir i'll have again two three apples one big glass of milk shake and a little bit of ice cream sir because nourishment is very important okay what about evening evening sir uh, today is uh, you know fasting day sir very religiously we follow so my mother doesn't prepare anything in the house uh, four or five samosas or bajjis or pakodas only that much sir or a little bit of papad or priyams or french fries is only thing night night sir you know upasam sir since morning uh, you know nothing was being cooked we have not eaten anything and uh, the fire was not at all started in the kitchen so today we have this avalakki uh, mix with milk a little bit of curds a little bit of ghee or we take on the five six bananas put some uh, ghee uh, curds milk and uh, jaggery and little bit of honey we make it something like the rasayanam sir mm. very tasty sir and uh, usually you know every day we don't drink uh, and eat uh, in a very liberal way because uh, today is ekadasi uh, instead of taking uh, Five or ten grams in a small spoon, like a prasadam, because it is a kadhi fasting, and you know cooking has not been done in the house, and my family is very dharmic. Uh, I just have it of around one and a half to two kg, sir. And the night ten o'clock, uh, I will have a big glass of milk, sir, because uh, I was fasting, sir. Today is a kadhi. Uh, since morning, nothing has been eaten from me, and you know very dharmic we are. This is what is pseudo dharmis dharmism. This is what is pseudo healthcare. This is what is pseudo knowledge. what we are practicing especially in the metropolitan lifestyles upa vasati it was nothing is going to happen if you don't eat food for one particular period of time especially what is the eating lifestyle i respect the jain community for a great dietary lifestyle what they have inculcated i am not talking about any particular communities in general i am talking they don't eat traditional jain communities to the best of my knowledge and perseverance they don't eat after sunset because micro minute and macro organisms might enter food and they are going to harm those animals and micro creatures so keeping that thing perspective in the daylight they complete their dinner they don't eat anything till the sunrise is done the next morning good things multiple sources good knowledge flows and we have to accept we have to inculcate we have to promote we have to practice we have to preach and we should adopt the scientific logic behind that when the colon the intestine the gut is being given a trained tamed tuned trained tamed tuned module of functioning excellently it behaves improving your longevity of life see for example all of us we are all of us are senior citizens professionals students conventional housewives everyone is busy in our own lifestyles most of the times especially the beginners in the group though they don't work we call them as home makers but they are home manufacturers a house is built but a home is manufactured home cannot be built a cot can be purchased but not the sleep kitchen can be modulated kitchen can be high fily designed but not the health you can buy medicines but not the health again you can only see that the health health is manipulated through consumption of medications coming back to the eating habits 8 o'clock is the deadline that you finish your dinner 2 hours you give a gap so that the metabolism is complete then you go to bed first thing is at the time of hitting the bed the tummy should be light it is only it should be half filled right in kannada we say vandut tindon yogi the person who eats only for one time is a yogi yerdu hottu tindon bhogi the person who eats for two times is a very luxurious fellow 
he is very contented very rich very affordable and things like that mura tindon hotkond hogi if a person is eating for three times he is fit to be carried by four people that is he is fit for dying there is no sense of living today honestly let us introspect a gentleman of 22 years a lady of 22 years is she eating only for two times okay chodo let us be more liberal is she eating only for three times a day i bet today's younger generation is eating roughly for around five times to the statistics in the clinical research that what i am documenting for the past 15 years then is fasting good for everything sir for all diseases by and large yes is fasting good for all ages sir by and large yes then what about the small child sir you expect the new born child to fast there are exceptions there are exceptions today is ananta chaturdashi a greetings to you all for this great celebration of remembrance of lord vishnu there are exceptions today if you cannot do you can do this in the whole of navaratri duration on any specific day you can celebrate there are exceptions today if you cannot do one particular puja on avara mahalakshmi day that can be postponed some reasons for some inconvenience in the family you can definitely postpone and righteously celebrate that beautiful function that the beautiful puja in the days to come for sure so a small baby small infant 5 years old baby need not should not fast the womb the baby when it is inside a pregnant woman need not should not fast postpartum lady banantanam avastha is what we call need not should not fast a diabetic person if not under control if on an insulin need not should not fast a person who is with heart ailments a person with tuberculosis a person with established cancer a ter person with terminally illness a person who is emaciated say an 80 year old man looking like a skeleton hardly around 35 to 40 kg in his body weight need not should not fast there is an exception for everything there is a logic said by charaka he is a great acharya of ayurveda see i have set down some rules this is relevant and acceptable to this given point of time and age this is very open the sentence what charaka charya which he pronounced 5000 years back is very much open and the beautiful ending what he gave in charaka samhita is i have given my logic to my times and my ages and my scenarios there is something called as yukti pramana yukti pramana is you using your intellect in concurrence with mind body and soul and taking a decision to see what is right today and that is to be practiced that is to be preached that is to be made carry for example to say barefoot walking even today has lot of health benefits maximized health benefits unparalleled health benefits provided you have to work on the work walk on the mud walk on the pebbles walk inside the water walk in the sea shore walk on the beach side this is this was what conventional walking then there was no plastic there was no glass there was no people spitting on the road having a gutka and tobacco and things like that on the streets there was no bus services there was no train services there was no flight services so communicative mode was only walking 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 diabetes was zero now no walking there is a uh, you know usual saying in bangalore i don't know that might be happening in your places as well the poor fellow will take care of a cow a very rich fellow will take care of a dog it had to be vice versa what was stale in the house what is to be thrown what is not acceptable to the humans we means ages back had to be put to the dogs and cats in the houses so that we, we would see that its tummy is also full and it would take care of us and it was vice versa with the cow the rich man had to have a number of cows this was what dharma having a goshala was dharma why dharma having one cow in the house 
it feeds 10 people it gives nourishment to 10 people it takes care of all the small children in the families it will take care of its own child by giving birth periodically one male bull in the house will take care of an agriculture of the family by going to the field plowing the field and uh, it works hand in hand with the earning member in the agricultural family one <coughs> person with lot of hypertension, uncontrolled hypertension and anecdote which I am trying to share, which was not to control with all antihypertensive, atenolol, H, multiple drugs being put together, doing go seva, chanting, whatever the mantra he prefers, the God of whom he believes on a periodic way for 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, in a span of 90 days, 3 months into 15 days, if one person can go to riches fasting, riches walking, that is 40 minutes, 4 kilometers a day, because more blood is going to rush to the heart and immediately within four, uh, 40 minutes, 4 kilometers of walking, if you can do, the heart usually which beats for 72 times a minute shall beat for 150 times a minute, that is gushing of blood. Periodically, you train, you tune, you tame the heart with such a procedure of rigorous walking. Your heart attack rate is being reduced by 60%. Not consuming junk foods. Gobi Manchuri, Kebab, Pani Puri, French fries, Malay's chips, Cokes, aerated drinks, popcorns, having more of Pajji, Pakoda, Vadas, is a part of customary because we are all into peer pleasures and social lives, avoiding ourselves from alcohol, avoiding ourselves from smokings, multiple micro minute things is going to increase the quality of life. The question comes, sir, why should I live for 100 years, sir? I am 45. I am done, sir. My children are financially secure. If I die, my wife will take care of children. My parents will take care of my children. And what if I get disease? The insurance is there. Insurance will cover all the expenses. So there is no worry, sir. Suffering is not being covered by anyone. You have to have your own shield of protecting yourself from sufferings. Jatasya Maranam Dhrom is what we know. But that Marana should be a Sarthaka Marana. That should be Icha Marana as how Bhishma Acharya got it. The Marana should be self Designed, self-decided factor. Giving birth is his choice. Going back to him, live well and leave well should be the philosophy and phenomenon of life where in which the last breath, what we enjoy, what last breath, what we take, last breath, what we inhale has to be blissful, contentful and it should make us feel happy for which the lifestyle has to be good. Dharma is not just reading books. Dharma is not to say that don't look back, look only forward. Dharma is not seeing all the elder peoples in a very low level by saying that he is wearing a dhoti, he doesn't know to wear a pant, he is not wearing a tie, he, is a, no, he doesn't know modernization, he doesn't shake his hand, so he is not into the concurrent world, he doesn't hug people, so he is not uh, you know, into the modernized lifestyles. He doesn't smoke because he doesn't know socializing. What is socializing? Just off late, we completed Ganesha Chaturthi. Ganesha Chaturthi, the festivity of celebrating Ganesha's birthday, was only confined to homes. Bal Gangadhar Tilak, during the independence movement, freedom movement, got us such a beautiful concept of getting Ganesha on the streets. It is now a Samajika Utsavam. Social festivity is what we say. One Ganesha on the street, that street, know your neighbor. Today, we don't know our neighbors. Unfortunately, in the apartment cultures, we never know our neighbors. Keeping one social activity of simple keep, keep having Ganesha in an apartment complex or on a street end will make 20 to 50 new families bond with each other. Will make 50 to 60 lower economic people fill their tummies during the five or seven days of Ganesha's presence for three times in the form of prasadam. Giving prasadam is dharma because 
knowingly or unknowingly, you are feeding someone. Explaining the dharma forcefully to a child by making them learn Sanskrit is diplomatically making the commoner understand the capacity of recognition, retention and reproduction. Knowing Sanskrit will make the memory sharper, make the pronunciation more better, makes your self-confidence much more greater, releases your stress. You, uh, you, you can uh, cross-verify my words by going to one scholar, not, not the very senior seasoned person who is 80 years, a pandit who is speaking Sanskrit, because he will always be blissful, no doubt about it, I am pretty sure. You go to a small child of whomever you know, or please search, this is the task or the request that I put forth uh, to you in this early morning of Ananta Chaturdashi, to go be in touch with a small child who is completely conversant with Sanskrit, please follow the child for six months. Just follow the child for six months. Have an interaction. Even if you don't know to speak to the child in Sanskrit, you speak to the child in your language and make the child respond, reciprocate, if need be, retaliate by the child in Sanskrit. See the growth of the child. See the memory of the child. See the phonation of the child. See the higher mental capacity of the child. It will be roughly two to four times greater than the conventional child. Being ignorant, being showing a lot of audacity, we say Sanskrit is Devanagari. Sanskrit is related to only one particular community. Sanskrit is pertained to one particular region. Who stopped anyone and everyone from learning Sanskrit? Sanskrit is into open universities now. Any Tom, Dick, and Harry can enter into the fold of studying Sanskrit. There is no prevention. Today, when the multiple cyber related issues are coming, NASA safety issues are coming, NASA has openly declared storing the data through Sanskrit inside the computers is much more safer, much more reliable, much more faster. Knowing Sanskrit was dharma then, it's a punishment now. Fasting was a richest performance then, a punishment now. Doing physical activity, doing yoga, doing sandhya vandana. What is sandhya vandana? Pratasmarana, sandhya vandana. Two important things. I know I'm running short of time because 7.30 is my uh, time to start my poja for Ananta Chaturdashi. With all the apologies. Uh, what is... The, I, 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 lost the guy, I lost the grip of my talk. Uh, so can you please uh, remind me as to where I was? You are talking about Sandhya Vandana. And yeah, Pratasmarana. Pratas thank you. Thank you very much. I don't have the script, so I disturbed you. Pratasmarana and Sandhya Vandana. What is Pratasmarana? The moment we say, I told you about Karagra Vasthi Lakshmi. Adasparsham Shamaswami. Such a beautiful anecdote we say. Samudra Vasane Devi, Parvatasthana Mandali, Vishnu Paddi Namastubhyam. Pādhas parasam kshamasvami. Being grateful, being thankful, showing gratitude to the Mother Earth who has given us an opportunity to breathe, live, succeed, be successful, have all the status in life. Is it not our duty to that prātas marna, to the motherland and also to the mother and also to all the families around us and to our family to at a personal level? We never say good morning to the family people. We hardly say Shubodayam to family people. We say Shubodayam on WhatsApps, Facebooks, and all social medias. And we use this in offices. Good morning, Shubodayam in the offices. We have this customary of saying good afternoon, good evening, and good night in English to all unknown people. Have you ever introspected to say Shubharatri to the father of ours? Shubharatri to our mother? Shubharatri to our son, has our son on a customary basis told Shubha Munjane, that is early good morning, Shubodayam and Shubharatri to all members in the family. Such a small change in starting one Sanskrit Shubodayam and Shubharatri makes a cultural difference, cultural transformation amongst families. This is the bondage that we need to learn. Lot many people will see We'll assume, we'll aspire, we'll think that 
కొందరికి మాత్రం తెలుసో ఇది మాతృభూమి ఆ తేడా ఏముంది భూమి మాత్రానికి మాతృభూమికి దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఇస్ లివింగ్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ లివింగ్ బ్లెస్ఫుల్లీ లివింగ్ హ్యాపీలీ లివింగ్ కంటెంటెడ్లీ అండ్ ఆల్ ద మోర్ లివింగ్ హెల్తీలీ లివింగ్ హెల్తీ ఈజ్ నాట్ బ్లడ్ షుగర్ నార్మల్ నాట్ హైపర్ టెన్షన్ నార్మల్ నాట్ హైట్ అండ్ వెయిట్ కోరిలేటెడ్ బీయింగ్ హెల్తీ ఈజ్ థింకింగ్ హెల్తీ డూయింగ్ హెల్తీ అడ్వైజింగ్ హెల్తీ పర్ఫార్మింగ్ హెల్తీ అడ్వకేటింగ్ హెల్తీ physically mentally morally socially financially ethically this is what i do what i do is good to me what i do is good to the society what i do has to be mimicked what i do can be introspected if this decision is taken by ourselves i think this is the real way of dharma doing good to 10 people thinking good of one other person apart from our own family thinking good to him and god god fearing man yeah before i conclude i will take two more minutes dharma is god god is dharma is what many people will feel assuming it to be different also i'll just talk about one sentence and finish my talk we always say he is a god fearing man this common word we have used what is god fearing fearing to god so is the person will be feared by god is god such an entity to fear all commoners at all times if you do wrong things something wrong is going to happen yes karma returns is what we say go and think again the research again an experiment again a task to all of us see a person who is not believing in god please have a track on him also have a track on so called god fearing person he is usually good by and large sober by and large a man with lot of shanti having for himself and pressuring the shanti for others god fear pressing god fearing person is always morally right and uh, he will always have a blissful death and all the more a contented life by saying so i will open the forum for discussion and uh, any negative uh, opinions that i have shared if it is uh, unacceptable to you i humbly express my unconditional apologies because it was you know a stimulative talk i know uh it is good to some and uh, very harsh to many but i wanted it to be an eye opener and uh, thought provoking uh, session so that we start working on this and dharma is not to be just read and kept to ourselves dharma is to be read to be practiced to be preached to be influenced and uh, it should be viral you should make 10 people know what the right things are you should know 10 people make them understand that what the commitment they have to the motherland is to be experience is to be done when they are fit and fine dana dharma both things dana is not just giving donations to temples and feeding 10 people dana is giving your knowledge dana is giving your good emotional inputs being communicated transferred transformed into other person doing the same thing to for the sake of society is real dana the real dharma this is the way to artha related to karma and then ultimate salvation is moksha this is the basic tatparya of chaturvida purusharthas by saying so i conclude my words and uh, i am very grateful thankful and uh, honestly humbly much obliged for the great opportunity that uh, veda vignana samiti has given the responsibility to me and uh, making myself included in all their guest series to express my thoughts and uh, as a family yes we are one and uh, i am proud that we are following dharma and this is a part of dharma saying so i conclude my talk vande matram namaste dhanyavadam landi thank you thank you so much very uh, very excited talk and very informative and uh, uh, we are all uh, thankful to you for uh, giving this talk now uh, quickly we will have 5 uh, to 10 minutes so i think we have only 5 minutes uh, question answer session any questions in the chat box unmute yourself yeah there is only one question they wanted the number of uh, dr kishore i'll put it in the chat box so uh, other than that i think uh, mm-hmm. sharada garu she has a question you can i want to tell one thing sir you have done a uh, given a beautiful lecture which is basic and fundamental things to be learned by 
everybody and practiced. And uh, from the, my childhood, my mother and parents used to say, don't eat this, don't eat that. Because if you are, uh, unless you pronounce properly, your brain will not improve. And we were not allowed to eat onion, garlic, anything at all. Only uh, in the, even gongur also, they never used to allow. I make my grandchild, the moment she gets up, say, Karagre Vasate Lakshmi, Samudra Vasane Devi, then at the time of bath, Ganga, Yamuna, Saraswati, and before uh, going to school, I tell, pray God, tell Bhagavad Gita Shlokas and Mukunda Mahara Shlokas, unless you tell, I will not allow you to go to school. Yeah, the, I, I, I need a beautiful explanation to be given to this. First thing is, uh, any any inputs to be given to me personally, you can uh, note on my number. It is 80500-10100. I repeat, 80500-10100. One zero zero. You can uh, kindly follow me on my YouTube also, which is Kishore Sutra. K I S H O R E space S U T R A, not T H R A. K I S H O R E space S U T R A is my YouTube link. Uh, definitely, you can follow these two things. Third thing is uh, pertaining to the inculcation of good things. You know, good things are always expensive. Gold is always expensive. A grandmother's blessing is always expensive. Though it is unacceptable, it's a very right way of inculcating dharma. Uh, I don't want to name, whereas in other dharmas, uh, they, I don't say others are dharmas, it is only uh, matas or religions. Ours is a dharma. Hindu dharma is undoubtedly a dharma because we do rightful things. I am no one to comment about others. But uh, when it comes to other mata and Hindu dharma, uh, this is uh, ever constant, never changing. What was there 5,000 years ago shall be true, shall be obviously accepted and uh, shall be possessive and uh, it will definitely go on. Only thing is uh, some stimulation in this Kali Yuga has to be done. Some motivation like PSS piercing people early in the morning. Brahmi Mahurte Utishte Jirna Jirne Nirupayan is what Ayurveda says. Getting up early in the morning, thinking of good things. How will you good think of good things? You seeing uh, Bhakti channel good? Yes, partially good. Whereas, if you are yourself into Bhakti, you are yourself into chanting of one Shankara or one Madhvacharya or any other Guru whom you think for five minutes, you are not doing any favor to him. That is, I am not doing any favor to him by chanting good things about him. If I say Jai Shri Ram, it doesn't mean that Rama will be happy. It is only the concept that the negativity in my mind is to be blemished out. It is to be cleansed. The toxins, the mind toxin that I have will be cleansed and I will be more pure. So, we need to be selfish in utilizing gods so that we are prosperous, we are healthy. And if I am healthy, my family is healthy. If my family is healthy, uh, the society is healthy. To make the society better, I have to be better. So, for every Ignam Samiti has been put, a small wooden twigs are put. A small twig will give a huge contribution towards the Jvalant burning of that Agni in a, any Homa. So let us be the small summit, that is a small twig in that Yagna of nation building. Nation building is Dharma building. Dharma building is Arthat family building. Family building in a very selfish, selfish motive is self-realization, self-building, being more happy, more richer and more comfortable. The only way is to follow Dharma. Okay. I think there is one question. Uh, please comment on just a minute. You went on. Uh, please comment on food that should be eaten. Sattvika food, Rajasika food. Also, please comment on what Ayurveda says about non-vegetarian food. Yeah, the Sattvika, very good question. Uh, acknowledgements to them. Sattvika, Rajasika, Tamasika, three varieties of foods. It is basically depends on the nature of work, what we do. Previously, it was something different. Rajasika food was being eaten by a Raja because he would eat lavishly sleep because he was rich. Tamasika food used to be taken only by a lazy person who would eat sleep without any work. Sattvika food would be taken by a person who is who needs to be sattvic. A teacher needs to be sattvic. A doctor needs to be sattvic. Any person in public life needs to be sattvic. The more you are into, for example, you can just again cross verify. Start not to eat onions for one month, irrespective of your uh, Ekadasi, Dvadasi, Shivaratri, 
ಗಣೇಶ ಚತುರ್ಥಿ ಸ್ಯಾಟರ್ಡೆ ಸಂಡೇ ಮಂಡೇ ವಾಟ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಎ ವೆಜಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ನಾನ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ನಾನ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮಂತ್ ಸೀ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರಿಯಲ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಲಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆನಿಯನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಾರ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಮ್ಯುಲೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮಿ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಿ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾರ್ಲಿಕ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನಿಯನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬ್ಲೇಮ್ ಆನಿಯನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಾರ್ಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಥೆರಪಿಟಿಕಲಿ ಇಫ್ ನೀಡ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಬಾಣಂತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ಡ್ ಮದರ್ ಗಾರ್ಲಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಡಿಸನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ವಾರ್ಮ್ತ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ರೇಸ್ಡ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಬಟ್ ಗಾರ್ಲಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಫುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ರೀಸನೇಬಲಿ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ನಾನ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ರಾಜಸಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕಂಫರ್ಟಬಲ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಜಾಬ್ಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮೀ ಹೂ ಆಮ್ ಹೂ ಆಮ್ ಎ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಟೀಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ರಾಜಸಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆನಿಯನ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ತಾಮಸಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ದ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಈಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೇಸಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಯರ್ ರೀಬೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆನಿಯನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಾರ್ಲಿಕ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲಿಫ್ಲವರ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಶ್ರೂಮ್ಸ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಲೀಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಫಾರ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಜಂಕ್ ಫುಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ರೆಡಿಮೇಡ್ ಫುಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟಿಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫುಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಯಂಗರ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ವೈ ಧರ್ಮೋ ರಕ್ಷತಿ ರಕ್ಷಿತ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟೊಬ್ಯಾಕೋ ಅಟ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಯಂಗ್ ಏಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೇರ್ ತಥಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ತಥಾ ಪಿಂಡಾಂಡ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಲೈಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಲೈಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ಅಮಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ನಾನ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಫುಡ್ ಯಾ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ನಾನ್ ವೆಜ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಅ ರಾಜಸಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಲಿ ಅ ತಾಮಸಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ನಾನ್ ವೆಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಈಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ದಿಸ್ ನಾನ್ ವೆಜ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ವೇ ನಾನ್ ವೆಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ಡ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ವೆಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿನೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಚ್ ಮೈಸಾಸ್ ವೀಟ್ ಕಲರ್ ಮೋನೋಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ವೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಇಶ್ ವೆಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ವೇ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ವೆಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ಡ್ ನಾನ್ ವೆಜ್ ಇಫ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ರಾ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸೆಮಿ ಕುಕ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಶಿಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇನ್ ರಾಜ ಯಕ್ಷ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೋಸಿಸ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಮಿತ್ಲಬ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್
He is short yeah. of time. We can't hold him. <laughs> I know. No, no. My, my sincere apologies. I never, uh, you know, uh, correlated the festivity of today in my family with the Zoom that I had committed to you. Uh, only yesterday night uh, when uh, I think uh, Colonel Babu sir called me. Uh, then I felt guilty that, you know, there was a festival and uh, had uh, given my time to uh, the morning session as well. So, so both are intersecting. The, any any urgency or any important questions, one or two, you can please take it off. I will definitely answer yes, right now. There are many. So we'll put them into a com uh, compilation and send it to you. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for sparing your time. And now we are on Devata Karyam now. So request you to uh, please go ahead and then uh, uh, pray for the humanity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Jai Shira. Namaste. Jai Shira. Okay. Thank you all for attending this. What we do is that we will do prarthana after uh, the due time. That is uh, at uh, 8 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, little before 8 o'clock and then close. Till that time, there are three people who raise the hands. Uh, Babu, can you note down these questions and send it to him? Uh, noting down, how do I do? That's ah, the, but the better the, is that what we do is we will uh, ask them to uh, be sent either to me or you so that we combine them and send it to Kishorji. WhatsApp, WhatsApp message, okay. Yeah, it's only through WhatsApp. Yeah. It's uh, not possible to note down uh, all the questions. Uh, or maybe the recording is still there. I don't know whether you can pick them. No, okay. Okay. What you said is okay. So people are very serious about uh, asking a question. Right. Frame it in a nice way and uh, be very uh, pointed and sharp. And then let us send it to him. He is too busy. I don't know how much he will uh, spare his time to uh, answer. But nevertheless, let us try that. Okay? Yes. Okay, now you can put your hands down. Yeah, I think everybody is asking for the number. I mean, number has been given. She put in the chat box also. Still, people are asking for the number. Please see the chat box. There is a number given in the chat box also. Uh, so don't uh, yeah questions can be copied and forwarded to whatsapp put uh, a, I always put a message to him and uh, he doesn't see I think whatsapp message also. whatsapp messages he doesn't see I mean yeah. I've already done it so, so try call him and see if we can uh, no, 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 how it. many people can call <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the way. I think uh, we, they have to send the questions. Sir, hardly there me. are only three to four questions only, sir. No, no, no. I see that so, so many people have raised their hands and they have the questions. Okay. And okay. many people may be silent because they, there is no short of time. So all of you can send the questions. Please, please try to understand. All of you can send the questions to uh babu garu and then uh, we'll uh, compile it okay. okay and send it so that he can answer question to answer question to answer mm -hmm. okay right uh, lalita ji what you are saying yeah. no, no, i just wanted to tell that on whatsapp he is regular means we are in regular communication so anything to do we can tell him also he is, looks into whatsapp only thing you know, we should have even Colonel J's WhatsApp also, he'll be through. No? So we, we can send it now because you said we'll compile and send it through. Colonel J's WhatsApp means he is in regular uh, WhatsApp. Only. Yeah, certain numbers he sees also, because yeah, I he, sent, he, he didn't see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, they can call and clarify also. Because, right. Uh, yeah, he will always be available uh, for calls also. Uh, two options we can give them. That's it, I wanted to say. Okay, sure, sure. Anybody sending me a question, I will compile and then send it to him for uh, answering. Now, uh, we have some new people entered slightly later than our uh, uh, session on inaugural, se sorry, not inaugural, that is a orientation program where we introduced each other. I thought 
I will ask those people who could not introduce themselves on that day. We may give them some time. Colonel, before that, I saw one Uruganti Ganapati name. Uh, easy, I didn't know in what context. CT Uruganti Ganapati. That name is not there in our attendance, this one. Uh, I didn't know who it is. Uh, could they just clarify? Where is he? Namaskar, Madam Garu. Namaste. I'm going to talk to you. Chappan. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. And the Kani Nene and Parvat Chess and Indi, Sanskutam Yandran Kalisha the Kuna Preme, I give in Alani interest in the Sarasar. The Kotha name and the Colonel Gar Chapandi may have had a registral or lake about it. Countries out under the Canadian and the Kotha pair Gada, Maclean pair Gabati, list for later. Colonel Garu, no chess Kunagada. Yeah, she has given it that. Now, if he wants to attend regularly, there's no problem. We can uh, add. We always encourage such people. Ask them. Ask him to just register, and then uh, all he gets all the communication. We will put him in the group also. Padma Vati Karan. Sorry, Alagan. Let him do just you know another two seconds job or two minutes two minutes jobs to register, and then I will do the remaining. Uh, and also, uh, please don't keep sharing this uh, link to all others. All, all are welcome. But then there should be a systematic way of doing things. You should, everyone who wants to introduce or uh, bring somebody inside to this classroom, they should inform Colonel Babugaru. Registration, yes, as he has already said, he should do. If there is some uh, time lag or whatever it is, first inform Kalan Babagar. There should be a sim some discipline. Uh, just like you, because you have a link with you, you can't share it. It's a private link. So we, we don't expect people to just come in without uh, the coordinators knowing, the administrators knowing. Please uh, bear this in mind. When we are... Welcome. Everyone should come. This. You should spread the word of this class to everyone and we welcome. But then there should be a discipline. Thank you. Okay, Maybe good. you can give the YouTube link for those who want to listen to the lectures. A bit louder, please. Uh, maybe we can share the YouTube link of the channel for those who want to listen to the lectures. Oh, yes. That you can share. The YouTube link you can share, but not the class uh, link. No unauthorized person should uh, join. YouTube link is public. Anybody can see it. You please share it with anybody you like. No problem. Now, uh, for the people who joined late, maybe we will go from down. Uh, that is uh, 1297 uh, pin number. Navneet. Uh Hello everyone. Good morning. Display. Can you show your display, please? Yes. Sir. Video. Okay. Ah, yeah. Love it. Namaste. Good morning. Everyone. Yeah. Hi, sir. Uh, Tell me. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, myself, Navni. Uh, I am an artist, I am an architect, I am a designer, as well as an innovator. So I have joined this class in order to understand, I mean, I have a basic understanding of Sanatandam as well. So I just wanted to have a brief understanding about it. And I myself as uh, uh, self-exploring, uh, like, about our culture, about our history. So I thought this would be a better place to understand all these uh, things. So that's one of the major aspects for which I have thought I will join this course. And I'm also right, I'm working on a book. So I wanted to better understand about uh, like our history as well. So for which I thought I will be participating in this course and I'll be learning. So that's a bit about myself. Where do you, where do you stay, Navani? Uh, so I'm, I'm from Siddhipet, but I usually frequently visit Hyderabad. I stay near Chandanagar. Okay, 
so you have an office or what uh, yeah yeah i started my own company i started a, a digital solution based company so i am into uh, website designing advertising and all so anybody wants to take your services can contact you yes 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 sir. Okay. I'll do share my website also. Yeah. You can go through that. Uh, yeah, put it in the chat box. Those who are interested, then they will yes. get yes. in touch with you. Yeah. And, Thank uh, you. Anything else? Uh, anybody wants to ask him? Okay. No. No. Okay. Now next is uh, uh, the people. I think you know one three two four Ramya Ramya Sujana. It can you where is she? I want to highlight you so that you open the video so I can see you. Oh, yeah. Okay, one minute. Yes. Ramiaji. Namaste, sir. Namaste, King. Yeah. I've been a part of this uh, class since the beginning. Oh. Um, I'm a software engineer. I work for HPE. Right now, I'm into night shift. And uh, I, I wanted to learn things about that. Software and that prompted me to uh, take Pravesha classes. And through Pravesha, I you know about both I enrolled. I'm starting a new life altogether. Okay, I think you chanted Pradhana also, no? Yes, sir. I chanted yeah, Pradhana. Yes, yes. You are, you are very active in the group. Thank you for introducing yourself. Being very busy, uh, even in the night shift and early morning, you are coming. The two, um, uh, after getting ready after puja, then it is great. Thank you so much. You only started that change, sir, actually. Okay. Okay, yeah, that is an example for others also. Um, if you start it, it is beneficial to you, uh, anybody, okay? And uh, Savita Sastrigaru, were you there? I think she was not sure on to. Savita Sastrigaru? Are you there? Namaste Mahodaya. Namaste, Savita Ji. Uh, can you introduce? Yeah, I joined. I joined uh, one day, two day after two classes. Just I missed the class. Yeah. Um, I know. I'm I'm from Pune. I came to know about this group. Uh, I started my journey very late uh, into Sanskrit and all. But from my childhood, I was introduced to all the shlokas, padyas, and uh, our culture. I was basically a banker. Um, for some years, I worked. But later on, a few years back, I stopped. And uh, out of the interest to learn more, the questions which will be answered, the seeking uh, has uh, made me to understand more about this. Uh, that is why I joined this school. Thank you so much. Um, you are very active in any case in the class also. So. As I said, I am very, I'm a seeker. So I just want to, like when, see earlier, uh, today's class, for an example, um, from childhood, you have to learn something. Children are taught. They just learn. When you don't understand why you are doing it, they will not be interested. So the more earlier, uh, Maybe that was the norm. Vallavaidam, Nechko, that is it. So that is the reason why maybe we got deviated from the actual process of uh, learning. The moment we are understanding why we are doing what, then it is attracting us more. That to answer those questions, why we have to do, how we have to do, more than why it is how we are doing it. That is... Uh, um, that binds us more to seek this knowledge. So, yeah. and uh, going further, when I started now, I have another uh, 10 years journey, 10 to 15 years to again give back to the society 
uh, what I'm learning. So how are you doing that? Um, as of now, the P I am reforming myself. <laughs> that is where I started. Then the people around me will also get uh, impacted uh, at least five to ten percent of the knowledge I'm seeking, because my my confidence has increased, my knowledge has increased, my perception has is different. Uh, like Sir told mentioned today, a child who is learning Sanskrit from from very young stage. That and the person who is not exposed to this, there is a difference. Same way when we are learning the knowledge every day, the questions are asked. Uh, why we are doing it? Why, like a sir told, Jnana Shakti, Kriya Shakti, Icha Shakti. We all read Lalita Sahasram. We just read. The minute we pause for a minute, the when we Ucharana Chesa Tapudu, Icha Shakti Anavantne Lakshmi Devi, Jnana Shakti Anavantne Saraswati Devi, Kriya Shakti Anavantane Durga Devi. Oka Sari Kalamun Dohinchkoni Manan Chepe Pratidi Chesa Monte. There is a difference. Okay. And uh, after we chant and we um, get up also, for, for a minute we will be thinking about it. We can proceed our day, start our day, uh, and go ahead uh, with this process. Uh, so this kind of conflicting knowledge seeking, we will be in this cycle rather than deviating ourselves uh, uh, into other things. So we can stop there. Like this, everyone, if we try to do this i'm sure then that is how we can bring some change around us yeah and that is my thought <laughs> so, uh, savita ji uh, do you chant every day along with the chanter yes sir Thanks. you didn't record and send it to me will you do that i'm very sorry i will do that okay thank you so much yeah, Bhagavaru, you. before you call the other person, uh, I just uh, want to have a suggestion. If somebody can volunteer and uh, take the questions, I mean, today we said that uh, you can send all the questions to Bhagavaru to compile. If somebody can volunteer from the th group and give his number, and uh, all the questions can be sent to him so that we can compile and send it to uh, Dr. Kishore. Uh, because I want, I was always thinking of when I say send it to Babugaru, I I know it is a big job. If somebody can volunteer, uh, it can be of great help. Um, anybody like that? Uh, you can get in touch. I can, do that. I can do that, Mohan. Right, uh, Savita Sastrikaru, she has uh, volunteered so. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, there are so many volunteers. Thank you very much. And we can we have to pick one. So, uh, Mohan ji, he has already given the number. So uh, take the number and send all the questions to him, and we can combine uh, compile, and then he Mohan ji can send it to uh, Kalan Babugar, and he'll send it across to Kishorgar, so that that discipline is maintained. That is great. You know, you are uh, you are taking my trouble. Thank you so much, Mohan. And um, can we go ahead? Yeah, yeah, go, yes, go ahead. Sanyavada. So agree, Gacha Maha. Sanyavada, sir. Sanyavada. And uh, Kumar ji. Yeah. Sarve Bihar Namaskar. Uh, I am a retired additional manager, additional general manager from Singreni Collieries. Uh, after retirement, uh, I practice homeopathy, pranic healing, and again into Bhagavad Gita learning, and again this uh, uh, these uh, dharma activities, Sanatan Dharma knowing. That's it. I am at home now. No more workings. Okay. Pranic healing. Mm. Yes, sir. One more you said, pranic healing and... Uh, the homeopathy practice, homeopathy. no, I do for, for my home members, neighbors, like that. <laughs> okay. That is nice to know you. If somebody wants pranic healing, they can consult you. Yes, I am an authorized trainer also in that. Pranic healing means from a distance, no? Or, uh, ah, yeah, from a distance also it can be done. Okay. Uh, that that will be great if uh, other students, all, all others can get benefited by that. 
Sure, oh, yes, sir. Sir, I learned Reiki first day three when I was a child. Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay, thank you, sir. Mm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Then Bhaskar Ragari? Namaskar, sir. Namaskar, Wendy. Mm. Can you introduce yourself, please? I'm a single analyst. I'm a retired answer. I'm a Kumar Gari. I'm a colleague. So, I'm a DGM retired and an AGM retired. So, <clears throat> we are both in the same uh, Sanskrit classes uh, since. Uh, Pravesha de Grinchi and the Idro same classes low Namo, Prabhakara Guru Gardegara classes this to Namo. So we have completed our COVID just in the Monagas law exam ration, sir. So at present, I am not doing anything but only learning the Bhagavad Gita and this Sanatan Dharma, reading books, that's it, sir. Nothing much. Great, Andy. So, where are you staying? I am in Hyderabad, sir. Okay, I'm in Hyderabad. Good. Sir, Colonel Garu, I'll add one point to Mr. Bhaskar Rao. Sir. Uh, Garu. Ah, uh, Srimati Lakshmi Garu and uh, Mr. Bhaskar Rao Garu are in Gita Parivar. Yeah, L uh, Lakshmi Garu told me that he is also joined Karke because she is a co trainer. And mm -hmm. I had uh, also regarding our calling and all, I was in touch with Bhaskar Rao Garu. Maybe he's forgotten it. Then mm -hmm. she reminded uh, for the call services and all he used to do in Gita Parivar also. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Lalita ji, uh, can, yeah, you, so, can you yeah. open your video? You may like to see you. Um, yeah. Uh, so we all have, uh, we all are there in Gita Parivar also. And uh, here also, it's very uh, glad to meet you all. And uh, Govindraj, Avasarala, all, almost all of our students have been part of uh, learning Bhagavad Gita there also. Just to uh, tell you about that. That's why I just reminded. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Lalita um, <laughs> Yeah. You want Lakshmi Garu also is a co-trainer in Bhagavad Gita. All 18 chapters she can teach. <laughs> That's one word. She's a very uh, experienced co trainer who has uh, uh, cleared exams also in Bhagavad Gita, all 18 chapters. Yeah. Who, who is Lashmi Garu? Uh, 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 one, two, three, eight. Three, eight, only. One, two, three, eight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because of her only, Bhaskar Raghur also came. It seems she called and she's. Vijay Lashmi Garu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JVSM Lakshmi Antaru. Chantara. She's a co yeah, she is there today also. She she came in the attendance, I could see. And also, you know, she was a co-trainer. And uh, when I was back to the Yeah, I was like, Lakshmi Garu, I was like, 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 Yeah, Baba Garu, now it's a time for Chan, uh, Pradhana and Chan. Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, sorry for that. Namaskar. Okay, now we will go for uh, Vyarthana. Uh, now let us request uh, one minute. Let me. Raja Let me. Let me uh, remove spotlight and. Okay. Now Raja Lakshmi Garu. You are only, I think, Lakshmi Garu. Uh, <laughs> that's why you got confused. Okay, Rashmi Garu, please uh, chant Prarthana, Swasti Mantra. Om Swasti Prajabhya Paripala Yantam Nyayena Margena Mahi Mahishaha Brahmane Subhamastu Nityam Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Kale Varshatu Parjanya Pradhvisa Sesalini Desoyam Kshobha Rahito Brahmana Santu Nirbhayaha Aputra, putrina santu, putrina santu, potrina ha, adhana sadhana santu, jeevantu saradam satam, satyam vada, dharmam chara, swadhyayan ma, pramadaha, sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramayaha, sarve bhadrani pashantu, ma kaschit dukhabhag bhavet, om. Shanti 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 Om Pur
பூர்ணமத பூர்ணமிதம் பூர்ணாத் பூர்ணமுதச்சதே பூர்ணஸ் பூர்ணமாதாய பூர்ணமேவாவசிஷதே ஓம் சாந்தி 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 சர்வே ஜனாஸ்வாதி தேங்க் யூ சோ மச் நீல் கோ ஃபார் ஜனகண்மான சிலா சிட்டி கோ வேலை பிளீஸ் ஜனகணமண அதிநாயக ஜயஹே பாரத பாக்ய விதாத பஞ்சாப் சிந்து குஜராத் மராட்டா திராவிட உத்கள பங்கா விந்தியமாச்சல யமுனா கங்கா உச்சல ஜலதிதரங்கா தவ சுபநாமே ஜாகே தவ சுப ஆசிஷு மாங்கே காஹே தபஜய காதா ஜனகண மங்களதாயக ஜயஹே பாரத பாக்ய விதாத தன்னிவாதமண்டி சல்லா சிட்டி பாபு கேடு தேங்க்யூ சோ மச் ரேபிய